Wadsworth. What happened to the world? The world, sir? Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? She's... in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you... A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car... The car! How do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you. As a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Well, it's something. Let it serve as a reminder, sir, of happier days. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The Mrs. and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir! What's all this, then? Nice.
Codsworth. Mr. Chan, the Mrs. and young Sean, they aren't here. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure... Hey, Codsworth. There must be someone who can help you in Concord. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together.
Hey.
Who you are, there we go. But your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. God damn it. Minutemen? So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. Maybe. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. And I nope. did, but things fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. Maybe? You really aren't from around here, are you? <sighs> nope. Ghouls are... irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and live for a long God time. Damn it. But they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. <laughs> Do that. And those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC, a standardized fusion core, your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. These are our lives you're playing with. Are you listening to Careful, me? Careful, kid. There's something coming. And, and it's... Angry. Now look. Yes. Dog me.
got somebody up here. Let's get this over. Why don't you get down here? Show me that fancy gun up close. I don't want people to get past my boys. I'll give you that. guys gonna be okay now yeah for a while anyway we can at least move some listen when we first met you asked about the Minutemen. one thing you should know about us we help out our friends so here for everything you've done thank you you're welcome anytime well since you say that maybe you'll come to sanctuary with us we could use your help getting settled there I'll think about it. Before you leave, kid, a word about the journey you're about to start on. Cause I seen your destiny and I know your pain. Please tell me, I need to know. You're a man out of time, out of hope. All's not lost. I can feel 
Your son's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly. But I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. A great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to spread out a wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hardly turn out any worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay.